and gentlemen, today we are back in yet another video. And in this video, we are going to be doing some awesome things, including a Tinker's Construct. And we're going to make a sound muffler first off, because it's another portal. It's so annoying. So we're going to need... How much wool do we have? Because I'm pretty sure it involves wool. Ooh, we got 25. So that shouldn't be bad at all. Alright, so let's search up sound muffler. And we're going to need to make one of these guys. We're going to make a note block. And then we can make a sound muffler. Thank you very much. And then I shall place you down and nether sounds should go away. Boom. Going away now? You go not No? Uh, okay, they are they're all quieter. Alright. So I guess that works. Um we're gonna get rid of that nether portal and completely because I completely just derped out and it's not the, the base isn't like three wide where you walk through it's too wide so that was an issue so I had to fix that so I fixed that and that's all fine and dandy I went out and found some endermen and I got some couple nether pearl or ender pearls and then I went to the nether got some blaze rods here we go 13 blaze rods and then I got some glowstone as well uh, like three stacks that's plenty of glowstone, hopefully to light up our whole house. And then I also went and got mining, and I got some more diamonds. So we have over a half a stack of diamonds now, which is pretty good. And this whole system works pretty well. But what I think that we need to do, and it's what we just need to do, or what we do need to do, um, when we put items in our ender pouch, and we're not away, or when we are away from this chunk here, um, items do not get sucked out and pulled in here. So we need to make a chunkler. Now, I don't know how expensive that is to make, um, but it shouldn't be too bad, at least I don't think it'll be too bad. Uh, okay, so it's an enchantment table, anything that means it's a diamond. Eek, two diamonds, okay. I need some more obsidian, I know that much. So, yeah, okay, so I need some more obsidian. So if we can go mining, maybe, I, I mean, it's not an immediate thing. Um, just if I go mine and get some obsidian, I will be sure to do that. But, I also went to the nether and I got some cobalt and ardite. So like this, and something that I thought is, is like glitched out because I looked on the wiki because I couldn't mine it with like an iron pickaxe or anything like that. I looked on the wiki and it said that you could mine it with a steel pickaxe, and I have a steel pickaxe. Um, I have a steel pickaxe here, as you guys can see, but it just it just didn't work. So what I did is I flew around in creative mode, and when I found a piece of ardite, I gave myself a piece of ardite or cobalt, and then I destroyed the block. So it was the same as like mining it. I didn't just like cheat it, cheat it all in. I actually went out and find found the block. But I just wouldn't let me mine it with this steel, so that's maybe a bug or something. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but if you guys have any more insight on what it, that whole shenanigans is and why my steel pickaxe did not work on that, you can be sure to tell me in the comment section down below. Um, but I did get some more ardite, so that's good here. And we're going to make the awesomest pickaxe that you can ever make. So I looked it up on the wiki, and um, this is some suggestions that the awesomest pickaxe you could ever make will be. So we're going to need, I mean, I think this is a bit much here, because uh, it gives you two per, but this is how much I found. And then we're going to need six gold to make the cast. Alright, like so, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go, and we're gonna need some cobblestone as well, so we can make the other little, you know, the little thingy, the, the other little thingies. Alright, so then we can go over here, and we can go do this, but, um, while these things are smelting here, what I think, um, is this the one, nope, we need to do this one. Okay, so I need this guy here, and put some cobblestone in, and I need a stone pickaxe head. I need a tool binding, there we go, and what else, I need this tool rod pattern. Alright, so I tested this out in the, um, you know, it, uh, like a test world that I have for testing all of my other things out, and it did work, so that, that's good. Right, I don't know why these stone shards I don't have anything to do with them. You can just go over here in this little chest here, there we go. Um, but we do need a casting table as well, which I completely forgot about. So, I went out and got some more sand so we can hopefully make some more grout. Grout. There we go. So we can hopefully make some more grout here. There we go. Um, make a pretty big amount of grout because I want to make some more faucets and drains and such as well. So we could just make like a stack or so. I probably should have just shift the cl shift click this. I uh, make like a stack or so, and then we can make all of our basins and faucets and such that we could ever want. And then that should be just fine and dandy. All right, this can go in here. Just not. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, well, those are pulverizers. Ha, <laughs> lel. Okay, alright, so not, not putting that in the pulverizer, so that's good. Okay, here we go. And do this. And then do this here. Alright, so that should smelt up. Give us some more seared bricks. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get this stuff melting up. Here we go. Where's it up? I'm completely just not used to how I set this thing up. Alright, so this is where we're putting the stuff. So we need. Um, I know we need to save one Ardite for the thing. Because we're gonna do. It, it's manulin. 
Oh man, I don't. I, wait, I don't actually know. Okay, let me, let me look. Find the tab. It was like a manual and pickaxe head and a manual and thingamajigger. I don't know. Let me let me look that up real quick. Um, I, it's real quick here. I can just find it. Where it is? Where where it be? Where does it be? All right, here it is. Found found the web page. So, um. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, manual and pick head, a manual and rod, and an ardite binding. So the ardite binding only needs one. So then we can throw these three in here and like that. And that should give us what, like six? Then, yeah, meh, meh. I think it should give us six. I oh, need to put some lava in there. Um, you know, let's start out with two. Let's start out with two of these and two of these because I think it's a one. It's a one to one aspect ratio. So we might have gotten a bit more of that. Um, what you call it? Or, well, it might have got a bit more resources than we actually needed to. Um, let's go ahead and grab some buckets and we can get some lava. All right. Um, I think it takes three buckets. So let's go ahead and make another bucket. Go. Okay, so then we can go get some lava from underneath our home by just right clicking. If you right click on an ender tank, whatever liquid is in there, it will give you with a bucket. So let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so give me three buckets, please. Three, there we go. And that should be just easy enough. Alrighty. And we can go back up to here and fill up our little smeltery thing with some lava. Alright, here we go. Boom, boom, and last bucket. Boom. There it is. So that should not making it more. Okay. I, I mean, I get some more if I we need to. I thought it was only three, but I guess it is more. Okay. Let's go back down and get some more then. All right. One and just give me these two. Might as well just fill this up just in case. You never know how much you need. This is really. I probably should clean that cabling mess up sometime, but you know, you, you never need to. Okay. I mean, it, no one's gonna see it anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just easier. For me, okay, so that goes there, and that goes there. Nope, that's a, I guess that's the size you can fill up. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. Nah, I'll put these back in the A system. For now, I guess. Okay, so let's go back over here. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. Alright, and uh, we can throw the cobblestone back. Put this back down here. Alright, uh, okay, there we go. So, now those seared bricks should be done. Seared bricks. And we need to make a casting table. So I think it's like that. Yep, there we go, casting table. And then we're going to need to make a drain. Pretty sure it's like that. No, that's a controller. What is the drain? Ooh, I didn't know you could make a casting channel. That's fancy. All right, I need to make a sear drain. All right, and drain, please. Oh, it's just like that. Okay, and then I need to make a little faucet thinger. A little faucet thinger, but jigger. And we can make as many of these as we can as well. Um, we can make a bunch of these. Like the whole side will be, you know, uh, the one whole side will be casting basins, and one whole side will be casting tables and such like that. If that would be a good something, maybe I don't know. But I'm thinking we do it on this side. So I put the casting table here, and the basin can be over here. Oops. Nope. Oh darn it! Now I'm gonna have to fly in there. And hopefully I don't get any. Hopefully I don't get blood in there because I don't want to get the blood out. All right, here we go. Can I just, you know, just like, thank you. Put this down there and then put the seared faucet and things should be fine and dandy so the first thing that we need to do is we need to put some gold in there as well all right other side I, I think I might switch those sides around just because that's the side where everything is so I need six gold show what boosh put the gold in there and then the gold's going to go ahead and smelt up and this is what we need to make the cast out of so now we have four ingots of molten manulin which may or may not be enough we'll see how that goes uh, depending on how everything goes all right so the gold should go ahead and smelt up and then the first thing that we need to put in there is we're going to put the stone thing in there. So I tested this all out. We should have the perfect amount of ingots for both. We're going to put the casting table there and then wait for the skull to go ahead and smelt up. And once that smells it up, if you shift click, shift right, right click, I think it is on there, it'll switch the liquids around. So whatever liquid is on the bottom, it will pour out. So yeah. Oh, you just uh, simply left click. So now we have gold on the bottom. And then if we go like this, it should fill up. Um, with gold and not the manulin. Alright, so that's good. Okay, so then I can just go ahead and pop this guy back in there. And then, like this. Some stone, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy back in the AE system. Just for now, let's see your brick here. Alright, like this. Okay, okay, I can throw the seared bricks back in there. I don't need them anyway. Alrighty, and then fly back over to here. And get this cast out. Alright. Alrighty, and then pop the stone binding in there, and that should just about do that. There we go. Okay, so then we'll have all of these guys here. And, yep, there we go, that's done. Alright, so then we have all of these guys. So now, um, let me pull that page back up once more, and it is manual and sh- oh no, manual and pickhead, so 
Trying to get some manual in here for this. Manual and pickaxe head. This this pickaxe is gonna be awesome. I can't wait for this. Manual and pick head and a manual and rod. Alright. Like so. Alright. And then how much manual do we have left in here? Because we need to make an R date. Um, by night. Yeah, so that was that was plenty of that. Probably only need like one or so. Um but then we're going to need to get an R date rod. No. Ardite bindings, that, that's what we need. Okay, so we need to get an Ardite binding, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour out this molten manual in here, and then I can bucket it up maybe or something, I guess, in the future. If I want to. So pour that out, and like so, because I mean, this stuff is pretty, it's, it's, it's not cheap. I'll tell you that much, it's not cheap. So then we need to go put over our Ardite in there, and this one Ardite here should just do it. Should do it, it was pretty fine and dandy. Alright, there we go. Um, come on, Mr. Smelt up, and we can pop this guy in here, and in the meantime, while that's smelting, we need, still need to make the tool forge, or the, yeah, the tool forge, so, um, let's search up the tool forge here, it shouldn't be too bad to make, I don't think I was supposed to get any materials, what I was supposed to, okay, so no, alright, so we need, we're gonna grab this tool station here, and then we need four blocks of iron, which shouldn't be too bad, I think we definitely have the materials for that, um, then a couple seared bricks, so that should be fine, as well, excuse me, alright, so if we get a tool forge, Alright, so we go like this, and so we need the, um, what, what, what are we missing here? Just the four blocks of iron? Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. One, two, three, four. And then we can get the tool forge, and voila. So now we can forge our tools and add modifiers onto these tools. Now, one thing that I'm not quite sure about what I want to do here is if I want to add a moss to my pickaxe, because if you add moss to your pickaxe, then that makes it regenerate automatically, its health automatically, so it never breaks just about. Unless you like constantly use it and you don't ever give it a chance to regenerate, but it only regenerates in the sun. Now our other option is if we wanted to uh, put a energy crystal on there, I believe that's what it is. You put an energy crystal on there and it allows you to charge up in a charging station from uh, applied energistic, or not applied energistic, um, industrial craft, I believe you can put it in there, or you can put it in an energetic infuser from thermal expansion, either one of those works. So now we go like this. Oops, like this and this, and then we should have the awesomest pick axe of ever. So I'm gonna ca call it the car, car pick 66. So that's gonna be the name of my pick. It kind of combines my car bar of the 66 name and with the pick axe, the car pick 66. I like that will 20 has this dire pick 20, and so on, so forth. So we're gonna hold, go ahead and make this car pick 66. So do that, and now we have one of the bosses pickaxes you could ever possibly get, so it's pretty awesome. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty sharp. Now, we can add a few modifiers on here. I believe we can. Yep, we should be able to at least. Let me just put this stuff back in the A system. There we go. Um, we should be able to add a couple modifiers on here, such as redstone to make it go faster, and diamonds, and a piece of gold block will give it more modifiers, and so on, so forth. So I believe there was that book, Mighty Smelting, I think it was called. Um, it gives us the ability to look at the modifiers. I believe it does. I'm not too sure. Okay, Mighty Smelting. Where are you? Mighty Smelting. There we go. Okay, so yeah, let's just see here. It gives us the recipes and such. Okay, so what what are the modifiers? Okay. Um, chick -chick -uh -uh. Okay, where are the modifiers? Um, does it give me does it give me a list of modifiers? I don't think it does actually. Eek, eek! I would like the list of modifiers. Yeah, no, it doesn't give me the list of modifiers. So that, that's kind of an issue. I could look them up and figure out the best. But if you want to go down into my mine, I can just show you guys how fast this thing mines. You just go down here, and I have a strip mine at level 12 that I get all my things. It goes for like about 3,000 blocks or so. It, it's an insane strip mine. I just sit there, pull up a YouTube video or something like that, and just sit there for like 30 minutes or so, just mining, watching a YouTube video, not really paying attention to just throwing occasional things back in my ender pouch. So, what we could actually do is probably grab some obsidian while we're down here. If I can find some. Oh, I'll probably need a water bucket for that, actually. So, let's go ahead and grab a water bucket, and then we can go find some obsidian, and just show you guys how beast this pickaxe actually is. Because I tested it out, and like I said, in a test world, and it was pretty awesome. I mean, it wasn't extravagantly mining fast, but um, once again, you can add redstone and such, and make it extremely fast. So, let's go ahead and grab a bucket. A bucket of water, maybe. Uh, okay, just, just plain old bucket then. Alright, that's fine. And I believe there's some water over here. I got all my sand from. Yep. Okay, so let's grab some water. 
And yep, just a water bucket now. This, what is that special stuff? Okay. So just a water bucket and then we can go down and hopefully find some lava. I believe there is some uh, pretty far down in the strip mine because I did encounter some today. But maybe there was some from a previous, like, you know, uh, an older strip mine. I only have, I mean, I have it going both directions, left and right. I was mining on the left and I, that's the place that I found so many diamonds on. It's just utterly insane. I, I found like six diamonds yesterday. And a bunch today and such, so it's just pretty awesome. Alright, so I mine on level 12, which is the diamond area. So let's go ahead and fly down. Why am I... Okay, it's like... Okay, that was like glitching out there. So I mine on level 12, that's the diamond level. And there's also a lot of other stone, or not stone, there's definitely a lot of stone. There's like lead and silver and copper and iron and such. Um, that are also down here, so it makes it pretty easy. Alright, let's see if we can't find any lava. Lava, please. There was definitely some down here. I don't know if that was a mine shaft. And we can get like three or three or four pieces of obsidian, and then we can make our little um. What, what you? Oh, I heard lava back there. Up here it is. All right, here, here's some. I heard the lava. I mean, I know there's some up there. Just to the right here. All right, so this mine's. I mean, it mine's pretty fast. I'm gonna give it that. There it is. All right, so we found the lava. And now, once again, take into account that I am a blaze, and I'm not like using mad hacks or anything like that. I am a blaze, but I don't am I am immune to the lava. So let's go and do this and get some obsidian here. But however, I am not immune to water, so that's an issue. So if I mine this obsidian here, pretty sure I'll be able to mine obsidian since it's a pretty high mining level. All right, come on, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. There we go. So we got obsidian here. It's pretty fast, actually. It's a little bit faster than diamond pickaxe. But redstone and such will make it a pretty fast pickaxe, and it does take uh, damage, so if we add moss or a crystal or whatever on there, it will allow us to charge it up and never lose, completely break, so that's, that's good, I guess. Um, or also we can repair it with manulin ingots, I believe. I, I believe we can do that. Um, but let's grab some other peridot, I guess. We can grab some peridot. I don't really know what this does. I haven't really come encountered recipe that uses peridot. But, that's good. Alright, so let's go back and then we can go ahead and make ourselves a awesome little chunk loader. Alright, so let's make the chunk loader and then that's going to wrap up the episode because we're right like 17 minutes in. And, you know, get, gotta get some more episodes recorded and planned because I'm trying to record like a big lump sum so it's never like recording the day before and then you sometimes guys don't get a video so that that's not what I want to do so I want to record like a bunch of them and then I will be able to upload them and consistently get them all scheduled up render them out at the same time because I use Adobe Premiere to render out my videos and I've also got a new video coming in pretty soon here I'm trying to uh, still write out the script for it and get it planned but it, it's a video that's uh, how to be a youtuber and what programs and software I use and all my equipment and such that I do use so if you guys are interested in, in any of that stuff um, stay tuned for that video, subscribe, so you don't miss it when it does come out. Um, but also, we need to solve our glowstone, our lighting issue, in the next episode. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a chunk loader. Um, chunk loader. We're gonna solve our glowstone issue, or our lighting issue, in the next episode. That's, that should be good. Alright, so let's go like that. Enchantment table, and then we can make a chunk loader. There we go. So now we got a chunk loader. We used up one ender pearl. That's not fine. Or that, that is fine. It's just, you know, I mean, you can get as many ender pearls as we want. Um, but where should we put this little chunk loader? I think we put it in, like the middle of the base, maybe. No, I guess we could just put it. We could put it somewhere, like the ceiling, maybe. No, we could put it on the floor. We'll put it on the floor over here, just so we know this chunk is always loaded. Nope, that's kind of a bad spot there. I'm just in love with that pickaxe. It's just so good, man. It's so good. Okay, so let's just set it in this corner here. Just set it in the corner. That should be fine. There we go. Then we're going to have it to load like four chunks, maybe. Show the laser beams. Alright, so this should load up our just about our whole house here. Yep. It should, yep, just just our whole little chunk here. So that should be just fine. Yep, there we go. So this is a good area. It loads up our whole house. Um, all four of those chunks. And that should keep everything nice and loaded. So, hide lasers. And, yep, we can put it in a square. It's, it is a square, so, alright. We got a square. Alright, so I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video in any way, shape, or form, be sure to leave a rating and a comment. If you guys have any feedback or any opinions that you would like to state, be sure to state them in the comment section. And subscribe so you don't miss any future content or any future videos that will be coming out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, guys.